Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video, we have a lot to cover. We will be taking a look at Tesla stock, the price action, the earnings, also Netflix earnings were out in the post market today and both of these stocks have been making massive moves. Then I have a great news well, on Apple as another AI thing spiraling up. So. And we will also take a look at other mega cap stocks, Meta, NVIDIA, which I, NVIDIA I covered in my previous video as well, but I want to cover the post-market action as well. And then Google, um, Microsoft, and then, you know, um, indexes as well, like QQQ and SPY. We'll cover all about price action, what we are seeing with the stock prices, what should we prepare ourselves for, and what can we be expecting in coming days and weeks. With that, please hit the like and subscribe if you find values in my videos. And please remember, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. Now let's begin. All right, I wanna begin with Tesla today. It's very important. Now, the thing is that guys, with trading view on the daily level, it doesn't really show the candle formation when how things moves in post-market or pre-market, right? So what I did, I went to my uh, trading, um, you know, the platform and I, have a screenshot here okay let me adjust the screenshot so yeah here we go you can see this is how tesla is looking um this thing has been plummeting you can see it engulfed a lot of other candles and on the trading we all cover it on the four hours chart um this is just the price section there right and then this is what with netflix so let me bring it down here so with Netflix as well, you can see such a massive bearish engulfing candle we're seeing and wow. So definitely guys stick around till the very end. We have a lot to cover. All right, so now let's start off with Tesla. So Tesla in the post market is around $279, uh, almost $12 down. Let's actually jump to the hourly interval before we take a look at daily level. So this is what we are looking at. You know, let me actually jump to the four hours interval here. Yeah, this is better. So you can see that Tesla is like really free falling right now, even though their earnings were a beat, they were great. So surprise, surprise, right? So, um, but the price has been selling off the, it started selling off when their uh, guidance call started and it just turns out maybe they did not do a great job in selling the guidance. And um, however, you know, uh, price action is the king of everything. And we do know that price was already too much extended. And this is where I want to put things together that we were forming this bearish divergence. And then, you know, price was going up, RSI was going down. And so all in all, um, and it was so extended away from this 20 days moving average as well that sooner or later something would have come as a catalyst that would have allowed the price action to do the actions that it's doing right now. Even here you can see that Tesla profit jumps 20% as price cuts helps to lift deliveries. Um, but still, you know, price is selling off. And that's why we say watch the price action. That's very important. And here is what we, that's what we'll be covering. Like if you have been seen my, you know, uh, Tesla videos, I always say Tesla, it's very common for Tesla to make $100 move. And here Tesla did that more than $100 already from let's see 100 and 164 to 299, almost like $130 move it already made. So that is quite already a huge, so it's, it's expected what it is doing. Now, um, what things are we looking at now moving into say, tomorrow or the next day that uh, we should be preparing ourselves for for the price action? Now, we have seen, seen things like Carvana would fall off in the post market and the next rate would just rip. So that's what I'm saying. There is no guarantee. Today, we are seeing it's just crashing right now in the post market. Who knows tomorrow? It might recover. But the chances, the likelihood of that recovery are slim. And what I mean by that is also because of the price action, right? We don't have a short squeeze like Carvana, right? And there are many other factors to that, to that right? So this was one of the critical support level that uh, we in the post market have broken. Um, so the level of $283 was where uh, we had a major support level, um, which has been breached. Now this pretty much right now has negated all other above support levels. I would still say that 
283 we can still use as ongoing support it is still a multi-day level support but the level of 288 is negated and the, also the level of 291 is now negated it could have held if my price would not have fallen this much but now it doesn't hold so if i go to the hourly interval we can see that this level was holding all the, all the way until the market closed somewhere around right so 291 we can leave it on the chart not a problem but then the next level you can see in the post market it was reacting at was our another level 288 but boy the last very hour it's just like uh, boom like straight down right so now on the hourly interval you can see where it's finding the bounce or the little bit of support at least for now is at 200 hours moving average that's why these levels and moving averages are very important to catch on to the levels guys now again i'm not saying buy here no we because guys there's nothing is stopping it right now to keep falling right if it holds support tomorrow in the pre-market here shows consolidation and gets above one of the another primary level which is 279 dollars uh, which is also the pivot of you know previous head and shoulder pattern then potentially we might see a little bit of bounce no guarantee right now we want to see how the price opens tomorrow um, but all in all this is what you need to be looking at um, usually what happens after such a dramatic sell-off you might see some pullback cool off because RSI is getting oversold here as well you might see some cool off 283 or somewhere up and if sellers want to come in they can come in at 283 and you know that's where because some another support or sorry resistance level is right now and this is where that price may reject again but um right now just looking at things today i do want to see how it behaves in the market open tomorrow and then from there we'll have more clarity on it again it's not bearish i don't want to say tesla has become bearish right now but my hunch is that we can be expecting you know a good downside coming we you know uh we will we may have a test of 270 dollars as well and then break of it will bring it down somewhere to 50 days moving average i don't want to sound very negative but guys just looking at the price action that's my hunch because i want to so put something in perspective and this is something i hope trading view start doing it to also show the candles drawing of the post market on daily level now i want to put it in perspective here let me draw this rectangle out for you guys um where the price wow it's still falling so let's do it this way okay and let me just quickly change the color to red and let me just increase its opacity here we go all right now let's see what's going on so this is now you can see right like this the magnitude of this candle that we are dealing with so here oops my bad guys yeah it's just gonna adjust it oh yeah it's ready okay whatever you got the idea right you can see this is the candle we are we are dealing with right so and it's still falling um so this is quite huge look at it like um i am expecting maybe a follow through to the downside and test of 20 days moving average and then we will see if this breaks or hold but definitely uh, there might be a pullback but then a continuation in the sell off and guys it has already run so much you should take profit if you were in the long position on it and don't just you know uh, sit on it okay you got to take profit why are you in the stock market to take profits right to make money right so all right now and you know bearish divergence is coming in play and i think this is the confirmation that a really you know another set of confirmation that it is gonna head down all right now let's take a look at netflix guys i want to cover tesla really like very clearly and broadly and netflix same story guys um let's me go to the four hours interval you can see that this thing yesterday went up right and you know let's go to the daily level sorry i'm gonna show it here you can see yesterday it breached this level and almost fall into this gap to fill it up it was like such a massive strong move right now what happened now and again i want to draw that same picture to put it in perspective this is what happened in the post market after their earnings here we go all right 
So this is what we are looking at, guys, right now. So let me zoom out and put it in perspective. You, you can get the idea, right? Like how much big of a red candle we are seeing. It's like a um, bearish engulfing candle because it engulfed, engulfed previous whole green candle and then also the all other smaller green candles. So similarly, like Tesla might do some pullback, um, but I'm, you know, definitely it's going to sell off. That's my hunch. You know, you, there's no guarantee, but and at the same time, same thing, guys, price has been going up. RSI has been going down bearish divergence, right? So that's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, their earnings were good. Let me see here. So that's what, you know, is the thing that, well, no. Okay, there. Oh, yeah, earnings were good, but the revenue was not. But still, uh, I don't think, well, when I said, when we see such massive price action moves, it's due to the fact that things were already extended and they are just correcting themselves. But also, this is also a reason for market to say, okay, we got a catalyst now to spin up some fire there, right? So uh, definitely, this is quite a huge sell-off that you know uh, we are seeing. So if I go to the hourly interval on the, um, yeah, let me just really delete this now. Oops, what did I delete? I deleted a level. All right, now guys, yeah, this is the thing that it may come down all the way to 415 as well or 414. And, uh, and Netflix, if tomorrow it doesn't go up again over 446, um, then it will become swing bearish for us to be tried to be played um, because it's below 200 hours moving average now, but a pullback can be shorted in my opinion. Again, just a my opinion, market can do anything because after such a rapid movement, guys, we got to see how things going to go the next day. Look at it in the post market, $40 down. Like this is no kidding. This is like huge, right? Even though they were doing fine in their earnings. So uh, this could be the very start of this massive run-ups that has been happening. This earnings are going to correct it. Let's see if that prevails. Who knows? NVIDIA comes at the very end and says, oh, no, everything is going great. Go to the sky, go to the moon. And here we go again, right? So we don't know. We'll see. But okay, guys, this is with Netflix. Definitely watch the level of 451 as a resistance. Even this 200 hours moving average is a resistance. And um, it may potentially come down to $414 as well now. So uh, definitely keep these levels in your watch list. All right, um, I covered NVIDIA in my previous video, but I just want to quickly go over it again because post-market it has been doing something as well. It's not that huge of a sell-off in post-market. It's at like $465, $5 down. Uh, it's, it's not that huge of a sell-off. Nothing to be... Uh, bulls are still in control. So this is how it looks like. You can still see bulls are in good control. In On four hours interval, it is still finding support at this 20 moving average. So bulls are still in control on nvidia but i just wanted to show it just so that you know but if you want to check out more detail analysis on it i did a video today it's on my channel check that out i did cover amd broadcom intel as well as smh the semiconductor etf with nvidia there all right now guys let's jump into apple and also want to point out i did carbon and palantir as well this morning so if you want to check that out please check it out um, with Apple guys, so you can see Apple just broke all time high again, went all the way high up as 198. Why did that happen? There was a news that rumor, at least to say that Apple is doing its Apple chat GPT thing, Apple GPT, something like that. So this thing just rocketed. And the thing is, guys, um, it's just, <laughs> it's all algorithmic trading, right? Like many algorithms are built on okay they read that keep reading the news and when news says something which is the trend or catalyst al the algorithm kicks in buys these stocks you can see apple just went in just like 10 minutes all time high 198 for a stock like apple to make this five dollars move is huge it did sell off all the way like back down again to in post market but that was still quite a move for a stock like apple so um, what are we working with on Apple now? So let's go to the daily level. Um, this is not a bearish stock yet, guys. I, and, you know, we were talking about this, if this is potentially going to form double top. The way things happen today, that at, at least for now doesn't look like. 
But what I want to see, it's only bearish because I know as a contrarian, you say like, hey, it's just running up so much that it has to go down, right? But, and, but we don't have a confirmation for it. We do have a bearish divergence, you know, uh, but Apple has been, well, quite some times it has been doing this bearish divergence game from quite a while and this thing keeps going up because we haven't received that confirmation. It's only bearish, guys, if it breaks $191 and 20 days moving average. Otherwise, coming down to 20 days moving average, it will still can just use it as a bounce. And who knows? Who knows? It just keeps may keep going up, right? But yeah, you got to work with the level of $192. If it breaks below, then it's downside. Otherwise, the place even where it is right now, 194, it can act as a support as well on Apple. So this is with Apple. Let's cover Microsoft. Um, so here's the thing. Apple said, Apple is coming with their chat, their GBT and Microsoft said, okay, I'm going to take the other side now. So Microsoft, you can see today did sell off, right? So again, but it's still a quite a massive move since, you know, since yesterday that it made. So it's not that huge of a deal. I mean, it's just one day red candle, not a big deal. Bulls are still in control guys. And why I say that? Because it is still above all time high of 300, well, yeah, $349. So this thing can still, even if it comes down here, it can still act as a support. Now, will I be buying here? No. Is it bearish? No. Unless and until it doesn't break 20 days moving average, it is not bearish. It is still very strong. Their earnings are also coming. Let's see if just like how things happen with Tesla today, Netflix today, if something like this is going to happen with Microsoft as well. But who knows? They might be saying like $30 per month is going to bring in them this much money because they are that's what how they're capitalizing on AI. So who knows? Um, this thing may go the other direction to the upside. So um, definitely you got to be careful with all those factors. If I go to the five minutes interval on Microsoft, you have a, another support forming at 352 if this holds tomorrow, and I can mark it here, if this holds tomorrow, um, all the way in the pre-market, it may still run up to the at least the test of level of 358 and then above beyond it all time high again, 364. But if it breaks below the level of 353, starts looking weak, it is gonna test this support at 349, the all time high. And if this breaks, then 343 is within reach. All right. This was with Microsoft. Let's take a look at Google and then Amazon and Meta, and then we'll take a look at broader market real quick. So with Google, uh, we were going technically up after rejecting continuation on the breakdown of this 50 days moving average, the purple line. Now, what are we seeing here is that it is a, at least in formation double top. Um, and here's the thing, very simple trade. If now this breaks 20 and 50 days moving average, guys, the Google, uh, we are heading back again down to 119 and 116. And if that breaks, then the next level of support is at 108. Not looking to buy this, but intraday buy, you can still potentially do. And what I mean by that is, um, okay, let me take a look at hourly level first. Um, all right, yeah, so watch $121. Intraday support, this 200 hours moving average can still provide it and stock, stock price might shoot up a little bit, but watch the level of 123 and 122. Um, and if this rejects here again, it may start falling again. And then if retests 200 hours moving average again, then we will see these downside that I just talked about. All right, let's take a look at Amazon. So with Amazon, um, it's finding the support at uh, the one of the previous, you know, breakout level, 131. Their earnings are also coming soon. Uh, let's see how it plays out. Bearish divergence, RSI is going down, price has been going up, which is fine. Um, if it breaks above $136, it can then get to the level of um here we go the level of 146 and let me mark that here and this is an important level and let me do it here we go okay so what are we um 
seeing here now is that but if it breaks below $131 then we might see downside coming but so far it is looking strong it is bullish and uh, potentially can go up all right the meta is uh, guys very strong this thing again has really no breaks I'm not sure how high it's gonna go but this thing has been defined gravity um, $329 to the upside is the level we have marked bearish divergence RSI going down price just not stopping uh, but you know it's not playing out yet um, meta only maybe cool off may happen if it even breaks below $309 then we have $300 in reach but that doesn't make it bearish still it's just a pullback because look at the 20 days moving average slope so even if it comes to 20 days moving average this is still a buy place to potentially test because it will test again guys the high so the recent high at least so meta is not bearish it is bullish um let's well in the post market it is also going down uh let's see actually on on the hourly interval yeah so in the post market it is selling off um so let's see if if it breaks 309 dollars guys it will come to 200 hours moving average and 300 dollars and this is what i have also been talking about in my previous video so definitely keep an eye on it um but if it hold this support again 309 dollars it might again start going up and test these highs meta i just can't believe how strong it has been um all right guys this was with individual stocks let's take a look real quick at qqq and spy so qqq in after hours is down it's just, you know uh quite certain for the reason that you know these big caps earning stocks have been falling so you know no doubt that why qqq is going down so um the level 381 is still a support on it uh, but if it's looking weak quite weak but i feel like this will break if this level breaks we are coming down to 378 and if that breaks we are testing the 200 hours moving average if i go to the daily level um yeah so this is where qqq is uh 383 it's not that very far away guys from this all-time high and this is what i have been talking about my hunch is that um, let me show you this on weekly interval this makes more sense here my hunch is that just because we have gotten so steep since 2020 and we have formed this valley and we are now testing this double top again right this is concerning to me i feel like this is for years to come ahead a downside but again you know it's not proven to me so but this is my hunch now if i go to the daily level um, I, as I said, if this breaks 381, it doesn't make it bearish. It is still bullish because there's a really good support at $371 and also 20 days moving average is going to provide it another support. QQQ is not bearish in any form or manner. It is just doing a normal pullback right now. Just keep that in mind, okay? Let's take a look at SPY. Um, and SPY is, as you know, other stocks, is down in post-market. Um, but also SPY has, it's not a bearish sign, it's just a pullback. We have a good support at $449. Again, it's very close to all-time highs. It may very well do it. And then I think um, also the level of 443 is very good support level and 449 is good support level. Then 20 days moving average will, may provide it another good support. So it is not bearish, it is just doing a pullback. This off-market sell-off is nothing to worry about. But you don't want to buy in these extension you want to buy in the pullbacks right so and you then sell the rips right that's how it's done all right guys this is all what i want to cover in this video i hope you found it helpful and valuable if you did please hit the like and subscribe it will help me out a lot and with that i'll see my next video take care